Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Division video. It's the weekend, which of course means it is time for another vendor reset. What is for sale? Is it any good? And of course, that is the reason for this video. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Any questions, drop them down below. But let's not waste any time. I'm going to try and be super targeted this week because in truth, it's not an especially exciting week. There are a select few decent picks, but besides that, there's nothing else especially exciting. So I am going to try and keep this sort of hyper-focused on those items. But usual kind of update, do of course take your time to check the exotic weapons. They do re-roll on a weekly basis and while they will still always maintain their intrinsic perk, the other optional ones will rotate. So Liberator does of course have Brutal, Capable and Deadly, not actually too bad in this situation. Historian isn't even anything worth talking about. Pakan is probably the one you want to sort of pay attention to this week. It has a relatively decent role if you are PvE focused. You can probably ignore Deadly in this situation, try and roll that out for something else slightly more applicable given that you're probably not stacking crit for a LMG. But Destructive is of course a very nice talent. The Pakan talent of course works out quite nicely anyway. I did a review on that a while ago. So as a weapon, it's nice for PvE, probably not something you would take into last stand. So those of you that are PvP focused, you can of course skip over this as well. But for those of you guys that do still run through, you know, legendary missions, incursions, anything like that, then check your pack on, find out what it's like, see how it stacks up versus this one, and it might be worth picking this up. As for your other exotic weapons, not that exciting, so I'm going to skip over those. Then scrolling a little bit further down, first wave PF45, not that exciting. PP19 here isn't too bad. It has Predatory, which in this situation would be the talent that you roll out. It of course has Deadly, which we already know time and time again, is a good talent for SMGs. They basically just go hand in hand. And you also have Hurried, which is the one that comes typically on the PP-19. And while obviously it's not necessarily a must-have, it does work quite nicely with this weapon. So you could roll out Predatory and turn this into a relatively decent SMG. Do, of course, bear in mind, as I've said in the past, the PP-19 is definitely a more PvE-focused SMG than it is PvP. Not to say you couldn't use it in PvP, but, of course, the kind of typical contenders for that would be MP7, MP5 options like that. So again, if you're PvE focused, consider picking this up and you might be able to make something out of it. As for your other options, Police M4, Determined, Focused and Competent. Tactical SESG 12K with Talented, Competent and Destructive, again not that exciting. And you then have the M700 with Harmful, Predatory and Elevated. And finally a Black Market RPK 74E with Talented, Fierce and Accurate. So to recap from that list, things worth paying attention to would be the Pakan and the PP19, again both PvE focused. As for your gear, very quickly skipping over here, of course pay attention to the gear set pieces on a sort of per set basis, you guys will all be spec'd very differently, so you might want to check these independently, but the mask has Tenacious, the chest piece has Reckless, the backpack is resourceful, so of course that is nice if you're running a shield build, you can apply healing to your skill objects, so like the shields. You then have your knee pads with Accomplished, your holster with Steadfast, and your gloves with Astute. So, moving on from there, over to the special blueprints vendor. Now, on the weapon front, nothing that exciting this week. Last week, we, of course, had an MP7 and an ACR, which was pretty nice. Definitely MP7. Hopefully, you guys picked that up. This week, on the weapon front, you have the RPK-74 and the M60. RPK-74, as much as I like the weapon, isn't especially great. And if you're going to go for that model, you would, of course, go for the Pakan. The M60 used to be great, not so much these days, so you can skip over those. However, going further down, this is actually going to link into something I'll speak about a little bit later. But the Omega Rifle Suppressor, this is decent if you're looking for a weapon mob. Because, of course, this can roll headshot damage, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance. So that is very nice if you don't necessarily have it. So obviously, adding this to your blueprint collection means you can then craft them to your heart's content. So if you haven't got it, do consider picking it up. But definitely on the weapon front, nothing worth shouting about here. Then after that, turning our attention to the safe houses, Dante's Run is the first one we're going to stop at. This guy here has a holster, a nimble holster, no less. Don't forget, if you guys didn't see my video last week, then they did announce in the pre-1.7 patch, there's basically a patch that's going to come before the summer update, that will nerf a few things, balance a few things, stuff like that. And in that, nimble is going to have a change right now. You heal 2% of your max health every 1 meter you run in cover to cover during combat but they are talking about making a change to a heal over time sort of thing. They haven't completely settled on it, so it might well change again. But it is worth noting, despite the fact this is very strong right now, it will not be quite so strong a little bit later. But until that point, Nimble Holsters are definitely very nice. This one also has Skill Haste on, which of course, as you guys are very much aware, is a very useful attribute. So that is your option there. Then jumping over to the other side of town, stopping at the last cool safe house. Here you can find an extended magazine. This one has 110% magazine size. Don't forget that also in the 1.7 update, they are going to roll a little bit higher. But for the time being, that's not too bad. Plus, it also has critical hit damage and critical hit chance. So 
not necessarily the best option out there but if you guys are in the market for a decent extended magazine then this one is an option then after that taking a stop at the dark zone checkpoint starting at east 58th street here you'll find a backpack a tactical pack with specialized on now this is of course a very useful talent because for those of you that are more firearms and stamina focused it means you don't necessarily have to be so weak in your skill power because of course as you are very much aware, skill power is a lot more important these days, especially if you want to get mileage out of your first aid and other things like that. So this is a kind of easy way to do that without having to actively spec too much into skill power. So consider that if you don't have it, it also has plus skill power as a major attribute, plus ammo capacity and a dominant role in firearms. So definitely not a bad option at all. And if you guys are running high-end builds or you have a couple of high-end slots, for something among your gear set then this is definitely something to consider i would always recommend you have a specialized backpack even if you don't necessarily use it just have it in your inventory it's like having things like savage gloves and reckless chest they're just useful things to hold on to because they'll probably come a time at some point further down the line that you just want to have it so if you see it grab it and then just hold on to it until you need it then after that east 40th street is the only other one worth talking about and here you can find the omega rifle tan suppressor that i spoke about earlier this one here has Headshot damage, crit hit damage, and critical hit chance. So it's an example of what I kind of spoke about when speaking about the blueprint. This one isn't the best roll. So do, of course, bear in mind you're not necessarily going to be getting the best for your money here. However, if you can't be bothered to spend your time crafting using RNG to potentially get what you want, then there is a ready-made version here. It's also super cheap as well. So whether you're returning or whether you are kind of just like forever looking for ways to optimize your build, then this is definitely one of the best suppressors you can have. So just again, much like I said with a backpack, good things to make sure you have in your inventory. But... The better option would of course be to go for the blueprint and then craft it. However, given that that does rely heavily on RNG, then you might just not want to do that. So either way, you now have options this week. Then finally, for those of you guys that just want to know what gear set pieces are on sale this week, then your options from the DZ06 vendor are the Alpha Bridge Mask with a dominant stamina roll, skill power and damage to elites. A Predator's Mark Vest, again, stamina roll, health on kill, health and increased kill XP. A Banshee Shadow Backpack with stability and burn resistance. Firecrest knee pads with all resistance, shock resistance, burn resistance, and blind death resistance. D3 FNC holster with health and hunter's faith gloves with pistol and shotgun damage and crit hit damage. So those are your options this week. Everything else is not really that exciting, not really worth time of talking about. So I thought I would try and streamline this episode this week to give you guys a little bit more focus on exactly what is worth your time. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Any questions, drop them down below. And take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.